Well, Brian, uh, congratulations on your appointment. Tell us what it means to you to be back at this uh, bigger challenge. I feel back home. I'm extremely happy and proud to have given the opportunity to, to be the manager of this football club. And I've been preparing for a few years for this challenge to come. I know the expectations, I know the level, and I know the stature of this club and what it deserves. So I'm ready for that challenge. I can't wait to start working with the players and everybody here at the club. But uh, I've got a good vibe. I'm sensing a good energy today since I work in a London colony. So it's giving me even more energy and I feel so happy. I can't say any, any other thing. Yeah, it was strange just living four or five years ago. We were in a different role, in a different position, but uh, it was always a dream for me. The day I left and I made a decision to leave this football club, I said to the people that uh, I'm going outside, I'm going to learn, I'm going to get prepared, and hopefully one day I can come back here when I feel that I'm ready to make that step. I have so much respect for this football club that if I wouldn't feel that I'm ready and prepared for this, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair. The first thing is a little bit to change the energy. I feel last week I was here uh, in Manchester City and I was a little bit down after the game when I felt what was going on. So we have to try to engage everybody. I have to try to try convince the players what I want to do, how I want to do it. They have to start accepting a different process, a different way of thinking. And I want to get all the staff and everybody at the club with the same mindsets. You know, we have to build a culture that has to sustain the rest. If we don't have the right culture, the difficult moments, the tree is going to shake. So my job is to convince everybody this is how we're going to live. And if you are going to be part of this organization, it has to be in this terms and in this way. And after that, we can talk about other things. And obviously now we need immediate impact. We need to start winning games. We need to start to raise the level of confidence of the players. And finally, we need the fans. We need to engage them. We need to be able to transmit with our behaviors, our intention, what we want to bring to this football club. And I think that's the only way where if we give them, they will give us a little bit and suddenly we will have to feel that connection because we need to plug these two things together. This is so powerful. I've been outside this football club and when you are outside, you look at it and you say, wow, this is massive. You know, so this is how I'm feeling. There's so much to do. I'm so excited. I think we have the right team. I had many conversations with all the senior people at the club. I feel Josh and Stan in the same path. So I have a good feeling. That's that's what I'm sensing from the outside. I would like to start to make some steps and I start to understand the reasons why. I'm seeing there are reasons behind it. There will be a history behind it and I have to try to understand quickly why this is to implement certain things that will be quick wins for the players, the staff and everybody. And uh, I think that's the challenge now. We don't have much time to train, much time to stay talking about other things because there are some important games coming up. But um, we have to create the right vibe, you know, the energy and everybody at the organization has to feel so privileged to be here. It's, it's no other way. Advice. Uh, what, what, I've, what I've learned mostly is that you have to be ruthless and you have to be consistent and you have to fit every day the culture of the club to create a winning mentality. And to sustain it is even harder. So every day is important. Every act is important. Every word of the organization is important. His work rate is incredible. And how inspirational it is to people is incredible. But for me, the secret is that the people and players and the staff have to believe what you're trying to deliver. 
you have to be able to transmit it and people will buy into that. And when they do that, then you are a team, everybody's together and united will be strong.